vehicle wasn't moving as good as we thought. The fatality rate wasn't going down as we thought. So we had to look around. We had to look at other areas of society. I mentioned a few occupational health, maybe aviation. And we need to have a more systematic approach. We thought we need to have a more professional approach to road safety. Because we had several regions within the Sweden and it didn't work out very well, so therefore we need to find a new strategy. And that was being more professional. And designers, that means us, the road authorities, the municipalities, the police. We are responsible for the design, operation and the use of a road transport system and are therefore responsible for the level of safety within the entire system. That's pretty obvious. Road users, of course, they are also responsible for following the rules of using the road transport system set by the system designers. We should follow, they should follow the rules. But we think this way in Sweden. It's not enough to put more and more responsibility on the road user. You can't have this blame the victim approach anymore. That's old fashioned. Forget about the blame the victim approach. This is our responsibility. It's the system designers who ultimately are responsible for this. Because the, if the users fail to comply with these rules due to lack of knowledge, acceptance, or ability, <coughs> the system designers are required to take the necessary further steps being counteract being killed or injured. 